What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of modern man and today's video how to dress like so today we are talking about how to dress like Drake. So I'm gonna give you guys some pointers and tips that I've seen and that I picked up from listening to Drake's music over the years and just watching his style evolve. So I'm gonna provide you guys with those tips right now. I do listen to Drake's music. So every time he goes, I, it's a banger. I'm telling you, it's always a banger. Every time he starts with, I, it's always a banger. It, I'm telling you, it's a banger. Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to dress like Drake. If you guys are looking for that type of style, you guys are influenced by him, definitely you can pick up something from his outfits, but I'm gonna break down three different points I took notes on and I'm gonna share them with you. So the first one is that it's very, very, neutral tones with them. So he wears a lot of neutral tones within his outfits. A lot of it is like grays, whites, blacks. You got the olive tones as well. You got, you got the semi blues once in a while, but most of his fits is all neutral tones. I picked up and I just watched uh, his style just evolve and just through different stages of album releases. You can just see the consistency of a certain style he does typically wear and he kind of gravitates to. And at the same time, he doesn't go crazy with colors but when he does it's usually for like appearances or if it's usually for like comedy skits then he wears something a little outlandish so that being said uh neutral tones is something that i noticed that he wears a lot and that's something you guys can actually incorporate to your own style so if you're looking for something like that stick with a neutral tone palette number two so the second thing I noticed with Drake that he does with his own style is layers. So when it comes down to layers, he does layer up a lot of his clothing. So if you look into any of his content or any of his photos online, he's usually wearing like a hoodie or for like a, a long t-shirt underneath, or it could be like a leather jacket or just a jacket with another like sweatshirt underneath. So he always has layers. He always goes out with layers. It kind of, it kind of shows a little more thought put into the outfit but at the same time, he kind of just feels comfortable with what he wears. Kind of segueing into the next conversation or the next key point, but layers is something he does embrace and that's something he does express from his own style. So we look into his style, even from his catalog, he does wear a lot of varsity jackets. He wears a lot of crew necks is one of his big things, especially on his e-commerce. If you go check out the e-commerce, a lot of crew necks, a lot of, a lot of uh, sweatshirts, pants, and all those type of things that are kind of a staple of what he wears on a day-to-day -day basis. So that being said, you're gonna see a lot of crew necks. He does wear a lot of sweatshirts, um, hoodies, first and foremost, for sure. For me, for example, if I was gonna style someone who has a Drake inspiration, there's a lot of things I'll take from this video, for example, and I'll actually incorporate them into their style. So that's what I typically do with any of these type of videos you guys will see. I give you guys my perspective, I give you guys my advice from them, and I'll basically give you guys my thoughts and the process of how I will style yourself or I'll style Drake or any of these people I, I actually reviewed on these lists as you guys probably see. So now going into my third point when it does come down to coziness this is where it gets interesting because a lot of his things like I said before are sweatshirts, crew necks, uh, long sleeves but he has a cozy vibe he doesn't wear anything fitted he usually wears something that's a little looser especially around the pants jackets anything that's a little looser that's just more his style especially when it comes down to sneakers you don't see anything too crazy you see a lot of white shoes a lot of air forces those type of vibes when it does come down to press conferences or when it does come down to public speaking he wears a lot of suits so suits is something that he does embrace uh, especially when it comes down to like photography covers or magazine covers he puts himself in the light of wearing a suit based on the occasion so he dresses for the nature of his industry or his occasion he's surrounding himself in but at the same time he has a cozy vibe so if you're looking to dress like drake or inspired by him dress very cozy feel comfortable with what you wear and that's honestly fine enough and you kind of just define your own style through there but when it comes down to the facial hair he basically has the heavy beard and he has the buzz cut kind of pretty much what i have now but i personally don't follow someone based on doing it it's just something that i naturally have 
So he, right now he has the beard, he has the fade on his head. But that being said for him, he rocks the five o'clock back in the day. And he had, sometimes he just grew the hair out and he kept it clean shaven. So there's always different evolutions of what he does for grooming wise. But if you're looking, trying to look like Drake, for example, you know, uh, grow out your beard. You can even go for like a five o'clock or just keep it a little more and just keep it clean cut, especially clean cut around your cheekbone and on your neckline, most importantly, because it shows the definition of your face. And also when it comes down to a haircut, if you don't want to go for a design, if you feel that's a little too young or it's just not you, you can opt out for something different. Just go like a high taper, or like a high bald fade as well. I hope you guys like this video. I love to keep these videos kind of short and to the point. I hope this really helped you guys out when it does come down to dressing like Drake. So hope you guys can take information from this, apply it into your own outfit. Let me know how it goes for you and definitely comment in the section down below. So if you guys want to see any more videos about how to dress like blank, definitely leave it in the comment section down below because I'm gonna go through a lot of people, a lot of gentlemen that have crazy styles and I'll pick apart the key elements that I see from them from, as a stylist and I'll help you guys style just like them. So yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching Arcway. You guys already know what to do. I don't want to keep saying it, but just to subscribe down below, hit the, hit the check button so you guys can get the latest content updates and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The thing I noticed about the grooming is it does change quite frequently when it comes down to like album releases. Every two to three albums, completely different haircut style. And you see a lot of people in Toronto kind of gravitate to that to nature. That's only being said because it's a big influence here in Toronto. So.